never know You never know Alright, uh, it's time for You Never Know and uh, I'm David Olney uh, same as I was last week and the week before uh, What happened? Fourth of July, that happened uh, and I played the station in with uh, Dan Seymour and Justin Amaral and uh, Ward Stout that was a killer show. That was really, really good. And the Station Inn, uh, it's a great place to play. Tim doing the sound. Um, everything was good about it. Uh, <clears throat> coming up later this month, we play in North Carolina at Brevard, North Carolina, at a, at a house concert series. And that's on the 25th. And then the 27th, Six String Presents at Cary Theater and Cary. North Carolina. Uh, next month in the Midwest, uh, in Champaign, Illinois, at uh, uh, the Sandwich Life Series, and then Cafe Paradiso in Fairfield, Iowa. One of the an odd place in the universe, I must say, and one of my favorite places, Fairfield, Iowa. <clears throat> Uh, then uh, August 17th at Byron's in Pomeroy, Iowa. Uh, so we're rolling on, we're rolling on tour through the Mid-Atlantic, Louisiana, Texas, and back through North Carolina this fall. All right, got your new sonnets? Okay, here's the new sonnet book. Uh, go ahead, take a little time right now and write down Must Buy Sonnet Book. Okay. <clears throat> Here's a sonnet. Uh, sonnet 59. Yes. Uh, that's the next to last, right? Yes. Uh, okay, here we go. That which makes us human makes us strange. Unlike any creature you may find, we seem to live outside of nature's range in the furthest reaches of a distant mind. All other beasts live in time stagnation. We humans have a future and a past. We see ourselves in our imagination. We dream our dreams spectacular and vast. Nature works with harsh efficiency, for nature has no use for useless play. To us, a butterfly is a joy to see. To a butterfly, it's just another day. To an oyster, the world is a shell. To a human, it's heaven and it's hell. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to get back into that state of mind again. Okay, so that's the new sonnet book. <clears throat> All right. I know some of you out there are shocked, shocked, I tell you, to see these glasses. Hmm. Really dirty. Hold on. Uh, okay, well, it's, it's good to say. Okay, here's what happened. On uh, July 4th, I was riding my bike. This sounds like a police report. On July 4th, I was riding my bike uh, along the greenway that goes along the Cumberland River from downtown Nashville. And I got to the end of it, which is out <coughs> by this uh, uh, golf course near TSU. And then I went down this road and I saw this sign that was, there was like a, a, you know, sort of animal exhibit, uh, you know, farming stuff that was going on that was connected with uh, TSU. And I thought, well, that's, I never thought of that. <clears throat> so I go down this dirt road and there's stuff growing everywhere, vegetables, and then there's sheep and there's goats and look there's a, some cows and there's a bull behind a fence thank goodness and I'm going wow this is just a whole other world here you gotta understand this is like downtown Nashville it's like the secret area and I turned around on this bumpy dirt road and started heading back thinking about how beautiful nature is and how wonderful life is when I hear and these two gigantic dogs bounded out of this kind of shed and they had a hungry 
a lean and hungry look in their eye. And I thought, holy shit! And I had to book out of there, you know, just start pedaling and then that's on the dirt road. And I got this little uh, basket type thing and I got uh, the keys to the car, thank God. They didn't pop out, but also my glasses and they popped out, which I discovered later on. <clears throat> and I thought, oh God, my glasses. And then I thought, that's a small price to pay not to get eaten by those dogs. And I followed the whole thing with the dogs through to its logical conclusion in my mind, which would have been, if the dogs catch me, it's July 4th. No one's going to show up at this place. It's like a holiday. So the dogs would eat me. <laughs> I mean, uh, so anyway, that's why I'm wearing these glasses. All right, now, <clears throat> something uh, I've got... Uh, some nice feedback, uh, let me see, from Jan Helferink, or it might be Jan Helferink, um, and he made some requests, which I'll get to, uh, Laszlo, and um, I may get, I, I think he requested a, a Camille, I'll do that, okay, so, and then there, uh, Les in England, Daddy Long Les, uh, who did that really cool little video where he sang harmony and played along with uh, a version of uh, Take Me With You When You Go uh, a few months back. And I'll get, he wanted to hear uh, Jerusalem tomorrow, and of course I'll do that. And I wanted to shout out to the mysterious, I hope I pronounced this right, Berbel uh, Nietzsche. Uh, and I'm assuming, and I may be assuming wrong, that that's from Germany. But it may not be. I don't know. Uh, but they're using umlaut, so that's a German thing. Um, and uh, has sent a bunch of nice things, complimentary, and I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, thanks for listening, and I'm glad you're into the songs. And I hope to run into you at some point. Um, okay, so there's that. Alright, so uh, here's a request, and this is a song I did with the band uh, at the Station Inn. Uh, I've forgotten it, and just started doing it again. It was on Real Lives, produced by uh, Tommy Spurlock, a good long time back. Uh, Alright, let's play it. And when I'm worried, she doesn't care. And when 
when I'm lonely, she's never there. Ah, but then on the other hand, she makes me feel like a natural man. That's why I love my, my sweet Camille. Yeah, yeah. forget who did it, but it was, uh, what they call my baby Betty, but her real name, her real name, her real name is Linda Lou, and, uh, that had that, so I wanted to steal that, and, which I did, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, uh, it was, I wanted to write a song when I wasn't trying to figure out the nature of the universe, and, uh, uh, and that's how, that's the way it came out, but, uh, now I'm really proud of my guitar break. Ah, still can cut it. All right, so that's what I got. Hope you're doing good, uh, and I'll see you uh, next week. And in the meantime, go out and slay the dragon, or at least uh, you know, get to know it. I'll see you. You never know. You never know. You never know.